two byproducts of, of that whole tragedy were uh, violence and entertainment and gun control. And how perfect that that was the two um, things that we were going to talk about with the upcoming election. And also then we forgot about Monica Lewinsky and we forgot about the president was shooting bombs overseas, yet I'm a bad guy because I've, I've sang some rock and roll songs. And who's a bigger influence, the president or Marilyn Manson? Do you know I'd like to think me, but I'm going to go with the president. Do you know that the day the Columbine happened, the United States dropped more bombs on Kosovo than any other time during that war? I do know that, and I think that that's really ironic, you know, that, that nobody said, well, maybe the president had an influence on this violent behavior. No, because that's that's not the way the media wants to take it and spin and turn it into fear because then you're watching television you're watching the news you're being pumped full of fear there's floods there's aids there's murder cut to commercial by the acura by the colgate if you have bad breath they're not going to talk to you if you got pimples the girl's not going to fuck you and it's just this it's a campaign of fear and consumption and that's what i think that it's all based on is the whole idea that keep everyone afraid and they'll consume mm -hmm. and that's that's really right. as simple as it can be boiled down to right if you were to talk directly to the to the kids at columbine or the people in that community what what would what would you say to them if they were here right now i wouldn't say a single word to them i would listen to what they have to say and that's what no one did